Well, first off, give credit to Arizona State. You know, I thought especially, you know, on offense, they kept us off balance really the whole game, and, and we didn't make enough adjustments to even get ahead of them at all. Uh, offensively, I thought we fought, gave ourselves an opportunity to go in there and, and win a game. We just didn't quite finish in the red zone. Uh, you know, disappointing outcome. You know, disappointing point in the season after starting off 4-0 to lose the last four is it's not where this team wanted to be. And, you know, we need to come back ready to work. we got four more opportunities that we can go out here and get better at. And we got to keep swinging together. Coach, I know you talked about a lot about the run fits coming into this week, and it still just seemed to be an issue. Scott, who had his, uh, Brooks ran well. What did you kind of see, or where do you maybe feel like that still needs to get adjusted and corrected? I think they did a good job. I mean, they ran at least half of their plays in unbalanced, got us in certain checks, you know, got us communicating and some misfits and, and getting reached. But at the end of the day, like, my job is to put our guys in the best situation to win a game. Okay, I obviously did not do that on the defensive side of the ball uh, to go out there. We're, we're better than that personnel-wise. We are. You know, we are. And I, I believe it. I, I believe in our coaches. I believe that we, we got to get it corrected, but it's got to be faster. We got to get our guys answers. And we got to fly around and, and knock the run down. You know, we knew that they were going to be a run team. We need to force them to pass. You know, we didn't get off the field on third down. You know, I just, it was, it was not good enough on the defensive side of the ball, and that's on me. JP, what is the biggest issue with the run defense right now? I got to see the tape right now. I mean, it's it's hard to see. I mean, you're, you're getting some information from the box. It's we're either getting reached or we're, we're we're not spilling the ball when we need to spill it. We're not communicating on a lot of the shifts and motions. You know, it's just a, every time it just seems like one thing, and then you know tackling. You know, we had some opportunities. Uh, Elijah Badger is a great player. There's no question about that. You know, but there's some opportunities we just got to run through of our angles and make the play. You know, so. You know, once again, this team isn't going to point fingers. We're going to band together, we're going to stay connected, and we're keep fighting in the same direction. That's that's what we need to do. Is there a way to kind of solve the tackling issues, or kind of what can you guys do to improve with that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's certain drills. I mean, you get to this point of the year, especially the last third, I mean, you start trimming down practice to stay fresh. So uh, besides tackling on live bodies, which you don't do at this point in the year, I mean, it's hard. It's Tackling is tracking, and tracking is angles, right? So it's leverage. When you're an inside leverage player, you got to stay on your inside hip. You got to trust that the outside leverage player is going to stay out there as well. So there's just you know a few things there, and got some young players out there, and they're learning on the fly too a little bit. Uh, Javen over Saw today, and then uh, Buddha over Devin. Just wondering what the uh, uh, thinking there was. Well, Shaw wasn't available. Right. He was injured. Yeah. What, what kind of injury is that? So it ended up being a, a soft tissue issue lingering from the Oregon game into practice, you know, so he just couldn't get himself to where he could go. And then, you know, we wanted to make a change with, with Devin and see if we could get a spark at linebacker because we weren't playing well enough at the second level. And it's hard to tell off the naked eye if that was a plus or minus. You know, I know Devin played a little bit. We had him in the rotation, but we just went with, with Buddha in there and, and KT at Mike. Coach, uh, last two weeks, no sacks, um, and I know it's not always the end-all, be-all stat when it comes to pass rush, but it, it just seems like the, the big plays getting to the quarterback and getting him on the ground haven't been there. Where do you see that kind of being missing right now? Well, I think it's missing because we can't stop the run. You know, if you don't stop the run, you're never going to get him behind the chains where you can attack the pass rush. So, you know, I think schematically we got to be willing to set those guys free a little bit and go get it when we get them behind the chains. You know, they converted a third and 17, you know, that we had an opportunity and we lost contain off of a max protection. So to me, sacks are a combination of pass rush and be willing to go get it and also coverage, right? But you got to get yourself in situations. All these third and medians, the ball's coming out really fast. So they, they know that they want to get the ball out quick on us and our strength of our defense is our edges, but we just haven't been in situations to let those guys play football. Uh, in the first half, they make a catch as the clock hits zeros. Well, there's no doubt that's a feign injury, okay? He did it last year, uh, Oregon against Washington. It was a big deal, okay? They executed again, credit to them. There's a loophole in the rule. They know it, everyone knows it. Everyone's situation and practices it. But it the same situation happened uh, at Oregon versus UW last year. And it was a big deal, and it should be a big deal again that we have to look at that as far as the rules. So, um, you know, that we all know what happened. 
what were you taught on that play? Like, what was the explanation? Well, and the, the refs, guys, you got to understand, the referees are at the mercy of the injury. It's not their job to decide, you know, whether – now, as a league, we got to look into it. This is now the second time, period, right? And it was easy to see. You know, I'd love to check the sideline on some of the other Temple ones. But, you know, we have to have a better deal. If, if you go down on an injury, you know, you can't come back in that series. And I know that was the last play of the deal, but just defensively in general, I think it would solve a lot of this. But there's no question there's a loophole in the rule. They took advantage of it, and they got their field goal off. Uh, Nikia nicked up late. Any quick update on him? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have any updates right now. And then on Saw, do you know what, kind of, what the outlook for him is? Well, day to day, you know, hopefully we'll get an opportunity to get him back out there. I mean, we, we need him. Uh, he's obviously a big playmaker in our defense and hurts not to have him out there. What did you make of the game in the offense tonight? I thought a lot of positives. I thought they gave us an opportunity to win a game, you know, without getting them the ball back enough to get a real rhythm. I thought Arizona possessed the ball, you know, way longer than we did. We knew Arizona State was a really good red zone defense because they're aggressive. And, you know, they kept bringing the seven up pressures and, you know, I thought we had okay answers for them. But at times, you know, we got to get out of the pocket and give our guys some opportunities there and, and credit to them because they, they stayed aggressive and we couldn't really beat them in the one-on-one matchups.